Mitchell Township Media Response <coughs> or press release. So, I have a couple of concerns. I know Senator Bart Obama's office was contacted, and I, I did want to ask, Mr. Briggs, is you're the only supervisor that gave in, um, a media response before the facts were in? Did you talk to oh, Senator Obama? The facts are still the same. There wasn't, there wasn't a fund that was going to impair us getting any future grants. That's oh, a big I, I, would, I would think that touching the, the pen vest sinking fund for the Alrama Village <coughs> is very risky. And I'll still stick with that. So answer. is your goal to not have the township not get any future Why would grants? that be my goal? Huh? Oh, Why yes, we did that goal? on purpose. Mm -hmm. Why would that be my goal? Well, it would, it was, That's crazy. It, it, the, the thing to do was to come to your staff. No, you ignore So how come to my other board members? I only had one phone number that I could find on Google. We, we went through this. This is dancing again. He well, then you was going to call you. Up. He was going to call it's all fine. of you. Nobody called Don't me. Don't put it on one. You started this. Uh -huh. oh. Oh, Are you kidding me? Stop it, you know, Heather. Stop not it. not paying the fire hydrant bills. Whoever that was, that's who started Yeah, we know who that was. I have no who idea who that was. So media response. Anybody have options? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. They are. They're pretty to walk out the story's now. over. They but you leave. send them whatever you want. I think there's a lot of there's a lot of concerned people that are outside of this room and still think that the fire hydrants are going to show exactly. up. Exactly. And it can. Think, no. Like, an article no, they, where it they, happened. They, they, could it did actually. Please, I think it's too much of a liability they came. Calm down. So this they're is not going to shut in the floor. I'm telling you that I found an article that the bills are paid. Let it go. The bills are paid. We have solutions in place to get the bill. Yeah. What is the solution? It just never right. happens again. We're going to make sure we get bills. So we got to make sure we're getting bills. The fire hydrants are not getting turned off. We've got to move on. Um. We need a press release for the other people to, to know. Why don't they get you? That's one of the solutions that they're working on. It is with. possible that that could have been happening going to a, 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 a person that used to work here. Five, six years ago. Huh? Things will get lost in the mail. Um, so I, I say there there should be a, an official township media response or press release. Uh, so I'll make a motion to approve township media response or press release. I would like to I would like to second that, but I think it needs to be done handled by Miss Gladys and Sweat Law Office. And I think that oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. You're crazy. I personally am happy to draft and do all the legwork for a media response, but because this is so contentious and I want to make sure it's accurate, I would request that it gets run through after I'm finished with it. Just because it's what.
I think there was, was this, uh, a sense of scare in that report that really harmed some of our citizens, especially our older citizens who don't watch these meetings and rely on six o'clock news. I had heard from several of them. It's, it's, it's a problem. I'd also like to say in this deliberation on this media that I, and I want this in the minutes, please. I think this was, I think this was a stunt in an yes, exhaustive girl. attempt. Are you kidding me? I'm going to repeat it again. Could you please restrain so I can speak? This was a stunt. It was a media stunt in an attempt, an exhaustive attempt to generate elevated attention and negative publicity to Union Township. I think it was far-fetched, and it was designed to potentially harm Union Township's ability to receive grants, thus harming its residents. I'd like that. You didn't pay your water bill. That's the bottom line. Mr. Cree? Yes. What, what do we do to rectify the years with the late fees that the um, residents I think that should be totaled up, brought to the board, and discussed with the executive session at first. And then a vote would obviously have to, if that's in shrinking, uh, funds are paid out of, then that can be on an agenda, obviously, would have to be taken. That would be a fund that could get out of just another township tax for the cash. But, like, is there some sort of what recourse do they have that they take down upwards of $500 a month on, on some of the months, every month, the late fees? So, so I have an answer to that, and it doesn't involve solicitors um, crony. It, this is this is easily solved. Like Bobby solved the ten thousand dollar outstanding bill, and they waived the fees. I think the assistant treasurer needs to call the water company, and and, and there's more that ha is coming out, and I'm going to have this all on the next agenda on the water fire hydrant. And there's some things that the supervisors need to know about the fire hydrants and their maintenance and the fees we pay monthly. And these were the questions before COVID that I believe staff was trying to solve, which is how these bills got built up. But I do think that the water company needs approached by our staff on late fees with the thirty-some thousand dollar bill. I, it's a definite. So there's a motion on the table. Is there any other discussion? Motion is. The motion, <laughs> bar and motion, and I second. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Sorry, taking notes. Um, Ms. Dare. Yes. Lawson. Yes. Barna. Yes. Dupree. No. 